Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dicing with Death. How are you doing today, Ryan? Hello, I'm doing well. How are you? I'm quite well indeed. We've got about a foot of snow outside, and my wife's car slipped on the black ice coming into the driveway. Oh, and at least uh, it was the smashed ice. into or a the rock wall. At least it was the driveway, not the road. Yeah. Yeah, because we got to like do this turn and then come up this hill to get into our driveway. And there's this little rock wall right there. And she like go went in and then the car just like drifted into the rock wall. And I haven't seen the car since this happened, but apparently front bumper has quite the dent in it. Isn't hasn't she already like dinged that car? Oh, pieces. <clears throat> the car is dinged. It is scratched. It is a utility vehicle that has long ago lost its aesthetic value and appeal. Um, mm. but continues to be somewhat functional and also almost dead and dying, and we need a new car soon. But that's not what we're here to talk about. What are we here to talk about, Ryan? I don't know. Are we done? I don't know. Do you got something that you want to share? Shiz? I don't think your, so. Your winter nights? Mm, there's no snow snowy. in Seattle. That's no. fake news. News. Uh, then surely you must have something to share on the... No, no, I guess that's no, it. No, no, we're fine. We can play some D&D. &D. Let's do some D&D. &D. All right. Uh, so I think we're doing Selkie. Is that the plan? That is. You want to uh, level up your wizard? Get to uh, ninth level just right before uh, enchanted weapon crafting stuff and then get instigated by a 20d10 breath weapon or save your <laughs> death or die um, too lazy to prep the end game content <laughs> maybe no yeah uh where calm down character sheet cool so selkie yeah so you have uh recently escaped from a brief stint as a uh, hobgoblin slave. Mm -hmm. Last session, I believe, was our uh, jailbreak. I believe so. Um, so here you are. Mm -hmm. Looks to me like you haven't quite gotten to Solstice, but I believe there were no encounters or problems on the way. You can Right. Go I where believe... you like. You're, but you're here on the plains at two HP. Yeah, I think we stopped at my my rundown shack outside of town. Oh, that's right. That's where you are. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and then I suppose if I survive the night, I will rememorize some spells. Make a save versus petrification. No. All right. Why don't you uh... pass? You pass. Okay, you're fine. Um, why don't you set the scene for us? Maybe recap a little bit about who Selkie is, what she does, what she looks like. What can we learn about her by looking around her uh, her little shack? Selkie is a half elf, half human, rogue wizard, multi class character. Yeah, put she the, is... Okay, okay. I'm, we're gonna do an improv exercise here. Why don't you take that character sheet and turn it over? And without reading the uh, first three boxes on your character sheet, can you tell me a little bit about Selkie? <laughs> uh, she's a half elf, half human, rogue wizard, <laughs> multi class. She's female. She has hands, and one of them is her predominant hand. 90% chance that it's her right hand. Um, she has stats that were rolled with numbers. Oh God! Um, hold on, hold on. Her sp no, I need to look at my sheet. Okay. My sheet. Well, what about the what about the shack? Because that's definitely not in uh, your character right, sheet. Right. Her you shack like conjured okay. that into existence after the campaign started and tricked me. Uh, she has been sort of hoboing in this, uh, not hoboing, squatting perhaps in this shack, this rundown old shack outside of town near some random fields. Uh, and this is sort of where she lives. It's where she's got a set of change of clothes, some disguises. There's some like old candles that she has in case she needs some light at night, but usually she doesn't burn them because they're difficult to replace because she's broke all the time. Um, it is weathered 
wood um, in a rainstorm. It will leak in certain places, but it also, you know, like half of the roof is good enough that she can sleep under that half and then the water will come down next to her. So she can usually stay pretty dry unless the winds get really blowing and howling. Um, occasionally she'll steal food from nearby fields in order to feed herself. Um, she's big into changing her appearance and being like disguising herself with her natural rogue abilities, not her uh, wizard abilities. She at points <laughs> lives in poverty, has no friends or family is learning to become a spellcaster and would like to get better at it and is sort of seeking an apprenticeship somewhere, but felt like she was spurned by the people and hunted by the guards. Maybe it was paranoia from, <laughs> from an imported drug dealing gnome at some point, who knows? Uh, and I think that's all I got. It's been a while okay. since we picked her up. Well, so here you are in the shack on this fallowed farm. Um, fallowed farm? Oh, yes, that makes sense. Fallowed fields. I don't yes. know. Abandoned farm. Um, and uh, you get a night's of rest. Don't gain any HP, but you can memorize spells. So what, uh, what does your spell memorization process look like? Where are you learning your spells from? And uh, what do you memorize? Let's see. I have, the spells I actually have are Armor, Tech Secret Passages, Featherfall, Unseen Servant, and the Hall's Reckless Dweemer. Um, I will memorize... But one in the Hall's Reckless to Weimer, of course. And I have armor, but I'm not going to cast the armor spell. Um, no, maybe I'll discard my armor and memorize the armor spell. And throw that down on top of me. I think that's what I'll do. So I will cast armor upon myself. Okay. Where are these spells coming from? Whereas, what is the origin of Selkie's magic, and how do you uh, how do you um, keep track of your magic powers and memorize I them? I have a them? notebook in which I scrawl my thoughts and my ideas, and I'm ever expanding on it. So, after mm -hmm. this adventure, after this last thing with the the orcs, I will jot down my ideas and note how the spells I have used in that process. Uh, worked out. For example, I cast in Hall's Reckless Dweamer that spat out gemstones all over the place. And yeah. even though I didn't pick up any of the gemstones to make any money, uh, I used it as a distraction to escape. If you and don't have the gemstones, did it really happen? Of course. Were they real? Was it an illusion? Yeah. No. They're real. Unless she's insane. But I don't think she's insane yet. But then if I if she was insane, how would I know that she was insane? So, uh, yeah. So I'm, she will write through her notebook and explore the, the notion of this spell that's supposed to create this wild surge is creating these gemstones, but are they conjuring them from somewhere or are they evoking them from somewhere? So she'll have like a little paragraph or two on her thoughts and then maybe a few more paragraphs added about the, the nature of the magic as it was flowing through her and the distinctions between conjuration and evocation in the situation with also the possibility that it was one of those things combined with some transmutation. Like maybe I ended up summoning rocks from within the mine that I was in and then transmuting them to gemstones. And perhaps they will fade back into rocks at a certain point. I would really love to get my hands on one of these things for study, just to like leave it on a shelf and see if it ever turns back to a regular rock or to detect magic on it sometime when I learn that spell. Um, so where did you learn all these big words as a wild mage? more or less self-taught mm -hmm. transmutation evocation i mean i live near solstice i've heard of these things the magic comes innately to me but i'm still trying to like focus it and figure it out and and drive it in some direction um i may be an uneducated girl who's had no formal training in any of this stuff but uh, that doesn't mean i'm not curious about it i'm still gonna try and sort it out in my head um, even if it is a bit of a mess. 
Um, and even if I don't really understand the principles of these things, I'm working on it. I'm a level one wizard. I don't know much, but I do know this. Okay, so you uh, armor yourself, mm -hmm. and then you've got your Nahal's Reckless Memers memorized. Yes, memorized. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that one, it seems weird to memorize that. I feel like it's just like innate spell casting powers that you get once per day, but. I mean, that's probably what it'll functionally be. I'll always memorize a Nahal's Reckless Dweemer. You mean you're not going to memorize uh, what was Pattern it? Weave? There's a really weird, there's a really, yeah, there's some random first level wild magic spell, but yeah. Anyways, all right. So, mm -hmm. journaling done. Mm -hmm. Spells cast. It's a, new, it's a new dawn. I think it's time to head back to Solstice and uh sort out what the hell's going on or i guess i already know what's going on but you know find me someone who will help me make sense of these gems that i summoned into existence maybe that's a good way to go about this maybe someone can teach me about creating gems out of nothing uh so uh you have no trouble getting to solstice uh, if you would like to avoid occupied farms, you can do so. Perhaps you see some like sheeps in the distance. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. Maybe a farmer or two, but you can make your way around them. Yeah, she's always and a little back to solstice. shy. She'll avoid people in most situations, preferring to walk among nature herself. Walk amongst the turnips. Mm hmm. Beats. All right. And uh, gradually rising over the plains, you see the tall sandstone walls of Solstice. And uh, let me switch our maps. Here we are. Shout out to Thomas Newman, Neumann and... Uh, with art assets by two minute tabletop for this lovely solstice map. Uh, where's Selkie? And why are there two of you? Well, then you've answered one of your questions, and I can't find any of my Selkies. I gave you a new Selkie. There you are. At the entrance. Ah, oh, wow, there are two of me. Are there two? You've got, I mean, you've got two characters or two. Two I accounts. See two tokens. Oh, well, how did that happen? I don't know. Well. All right. Uh, it is it is day, like late morning. Mm -hmm. uh, the gates are open. Okay. Uh, atop the wall, you can see some shrouded figures keeping mm -hmm. watch. Uh, and there is a hubbub down the main causeway. This enormous marble street that leads into the center of town. Out of the way, first off, what's the hubbub all about? Uh, just typical city hubbub. Oh, okay. Not People, like special hubbub. carts. No. no. Merchants okay. selling their wares. Well. You there. Your boots look <laughs> worn, milady. They are. You could, you could use a new pair. Oh, well, I've got thank the you. Got the finest boots in town. Oh, I didn't have any money, but if you're just giving these away, that'd be great. Oh, no money. Go on, not... get get out of your street rat. <laughs> I'll keep walking down the street. All right. Uh, I Ooh, guess. Um, are you doing sound? No, I have no. I can do sound. City hubbub. Let me get some city hubbub for us. Street rats. No, no, it's the wrong way of doing sound. Here. Over here. It's easiest to just do it through your stuff, so right? I shouldn't bother yeah. with table. If you want to if you wanna run it, 20. that's legit. Um but yeah. I'm happy to do it. I do enjoy the the um practicing of the the audio tracks. 
and sorting out the right track for the right mood. Okay, here we go. Okay. Here we go. Well, I'm so, off to where see the wizard. Mm. Wonderful wizard of solstice. And I'm going to follow this white marble road. Yeah. Right, so I follow away. come over here and then I come up here and then yes. I come to this area. Yeah, you walk past the twin statues, justice and knowledge and uh, approach the great library of solstice. Right. Uh, coming so, in and out are uh, scholars in their robes heading off on their lunch break or whatever. And a few guards here and there. I will spot some of the city watch in their uh, boiled leathers, and goofy little bucket hats. I will watch the uh, passers by looking mm -hmm. for a spellcaster, not just a scholar. Can you tell the difference? Well, of course. The spellcasters have robes, carry a book, and lean on a staff. The scholars uh, are just dainty sissies. At least that's mm. her her take on regular wizards. Um, as we've mentioned, she's learned all this stuff herself, so she doesn't really have a strong concept. She's just playing on stereotypes. Um, well, you don't see any staff wielding book holding wizards that match your description. Yeah. There are plenty of uh, figures in robes. Hmm. Well, then I have no idea how I would tell them apart. Maybe I'll mm, try and do some sort of charisma check to read their faces, if that will give me any information about them. Maybe looking for someone with recently singed eyebrows, that sort of thing. <laughs> um, Make your charisma check. Mm -hmm. My charisma is... That, I believe? That is correct. 24. Yeah. Um, you are pretty sure that none of these people about are wizards. See none of the singed eyebrows or clutched spell books that would give that away. Okay. You uh, recall from last time that the wizard's tower was in the back corner mm -hmm. of the library. Well, if everyone's leaving for lunch, why not everyone, but it's lunch break, so people yeah. are more or less going out. So I'll make my way into the library and sort of loiter around that back tower. Yeah. Um, you make your way through the library. There are people that are still here. Mm -hmm. Deep in their readings. Um, and in the back corner the library. There is an entrance to that tower, uh, but it is sealed and locked. Well, I will... I remember how I described it previously, but uh, on this day, it is a uh, sealed stone door with no obvious way to open. No, like, no handle or anything? Uh, yeah, no handle. Just looks like hmm. a, like there's an outline of, of a door carved in, but uh... And I'm gonna take a look around me and see if anyone's here watching, and if not, I'm going to inspect the door very carefully. I want to see how thick the cracks are. Uh, could you, if I was a mouse, could I squeeze through? Or is it so perfectly sealed that not even mice can get through? That sort of stuff. Yeah, make a, you can roll a perception. Do you have spellcraft? Or is that not something you've learned? I do have spellcraft, yes. Okay. You can make both. All right. One or both. So here is my spellcraft check. 24. Yeah. Um, so there are almost certainly enchantments cast upon not just the store, but probably the entirety of the 
of the library around you. Mm -hmm. um, if uh, any of the viewers of the wiki contradict what I'm saying now, I can uh, make up some bullshit to explain that away. But the uh, <laughs> door before you is, is stone, and the cra there is like a line, there's a crack, but it's almost perfectly sealed. A mouse could not fit through this door. That's fascinating. Um, uh, there's no handle, and you do see magic runes. I think with the spellcraft, you are supposed to understand the spells that are cast, but I... Or have some oh, understanding, at least. Yeah. Um, yeah, but with context clues, I mean, you would imagine these are probably... Mm -hmm. The runes are probably magical wards. Presumably this is sealed to those that uh, don't know the magic password or have other means of bypassing it. Right. Makes sense. You wouldn't and want to cast a spell every time you have to open the door. Mm -hmm. There's got to be something afoot. Yeah. Um, and the the wall itself is here is made of marble. So like the rest of the the rest of the library is that rough stone. Mm -hmm. um, but this sort of like back wall, curved dome surface is solid marble and uh you don't see any cracks like ordinarily in a marble building it'd be like marble bricks stacked on top of each other mm -hmm. the... yeah okay Lemish, nice marble sheer surface. marble walls with no no signs of joining yeah. anywhere yeah and you are left alone here for minutes in the back corner of the library no one seems to pay you much mind well i'm gonna try and pull out some of my lock picks and um, I know there's no lock here, but I want to use them to like see if I can stick them in between the um, the door and the wall and see if they will actually go in at all. Or if maybe like if it's a crack, I should be able to stick at least like a hair through perhaps. Or maybe there's some sort of like magical ward that seals the gaps between yeah. as well. So even like oh. gas couldn't pass through. So I want to like poke around and play with it a little bit. Um, let's, uh, revisit our Thief rebuild. That's what you're using for this class, right? Yes, sir. Re revisit the lock picking. Okay. Um, what is your lock picking skill? I believe you ten. change it to ten. So, uh, there's no check, right? It's just time, or do you make it's, a check? No, it's, um, it's time that the DM rolls. Okay. Why can I not find lock picking? I mean, with 10, you're certainly not going to be able to do it. You, I, you probably know this ahead of time. Yeah, my goal is you could pick a, you could pick a good lock given enough time. Right. And my goal is not to pick the locks so much as it is to see if this door is um, just a physical barrier or if there's also some sort of magical barrier that is preventing things from passing between these cracks. I'm trying to discern the, the physicality versus the magicality. Like, if I had the gas so form is... spell, could I pass through it? Or would I be barred as well? Yeah, there is... You do mention that you could roll a lockpicking check if you were under pressure. So I think I'll have you do a lockpick check just to investigate it. Mm -hmm. uh, but... I mean, I guess it would take you... What? An hour? To it's... determine that you can't get in? Yeah. But context clues no yeah so, um, so i think 17. you're fumbling with it trying to get your lock in the corner um totally focused on this door um you don't even notice footsteps approaching and a uh, familiar voice over your shoulder saying you know we can see you right yes yes i say not even turning around as i keep poking under the door with my uh some sort of like small angled hook Aren't you worried about curses or traps or something? I will freeze in place and slowly withdraw my lockpick, <laughs> very carefully put it back in its bag and turn around and say, actually, I hadn't thought about that. You see you a, uh, a young man in white robes. Uh, Hello. Clean shaven, brown hair. 
Uh, hello. I'm Selkie. It's nice to meet you. You are? I say, walking forward a little bit, timidly. He looks a little bit uh, taken aback. I'm Gareth, he says. You, uh... Did we meet? I cock my head to the side. You look a little familiar. Don't... Uh, memory's not so good, is it? I shake my head. I, I got hit in the head a whole bunch yesterday. Yeah, I knocked a few things loose. <laughs> yeah, you don't look so good. Hmm. Do you... He's too nice to make jokes about poor or... memory making for bad wizards, but certainly thinking it. Oh, I mean, why do you think these wild surges go off? I'm not <laughs> trying to memorize Nahal's Reckless Dweamer. I just, you know, that just shows you how bad her memory is. I'm really trying to memorize something else. Um, do you do you work in the, the tower? He nods. Work study. Really? She bats her eyes at him a few times. <laughs> Perhaps you would be willing to help me out with some questions. See, I thought I, uh, I thought you were uh, too busy for study, or you wanted some more. My memory's failing me. I can't uh, can't write, recall what you said, but I think you wanted a uh, maybe a more useful form of magic. Well, of course. Did what you... else? Who wants useless magic? Hello. <laughs> Shrugs. What can I help you with? Yesterday I cast a spell. And instead of casting a spell, 2d6 gems flew from my hands and scattered all over the place. Were, were they real? I was having to run from Hobgoblin, so I didn't get a chance to inspect them. I wish Is this related I had to the head up. injuries? Yes, it is. You're saying you cast a spell mm. that you didn't mean to. Mm, no. I'm saying I... You know when you just, like, splooge magic all over the place? That's what I did. I have never splooged magic. Really? Gemstones are quite uh, valuable, and their structure is perfect. I know. Be, be quite uh, quite a high-level spell to conjure gemstones into existence. Well, it's not like I meant Almost, to conjure gemstones. It just sort of came out of me. It's most surely an illusion. It couldn't have been real gemstones. Well, this is what I need to get to the bottom of. And I was hoping maybe someone here could help uh, give me a little bit of focus or guidance. Because when I cast spells, it sort of just comes out of, you know, causes chaos sometimes. Hmm. Now you want focus? Guidance? I thought you we were off to met, find some... We? Uh... Yeah! Oh, His... In any case, um, well, are you gonna show me or not? He looks at you appraisingly. Show me what you got. I'll show you what I got. Maybe we can learn something. Um roll a charisma check. I think you already I think you already won this guy over. But uh I think he's he's taken offense that you one forgot who he was. Two showed up at his tower and tried to pick the lock. Yeah. Uh, it's been like a month in the real world. Yeah. Yeah. This all seems uh, in line with Selkie's character. Yeah. <clears throat> I and mean, there's a reason uh, she's a street rat, right? Yeah. Typically, uh, we we charge for our services. 
and magic can be uh, quite costly. Um, if you have hundreds mm. of gold, perhaps I could uh, identify one of these gemstones for you. Well, I don't have the gemstones or any gold. You don't? No. I told you I had to run from the hobgoblins. Hobgoblins, huh? Yeah. I was... <clears throat> I, uh... I don't think there's any curses on that door, but, uh... I can't, I can't guarantee your safety if you keep poking at it. You might want to, uh... Well, I don't know. Shrugs. Probably wouldn't remember any advice I give you anyways. And he, like, goes to to walk away. Okay. He doesn't um, go into the tower, and he, like, turns around and walks away and off to the right. Okay. I... If you do not hmm. stop him or, or uh, pursue, you are once again left alone with this magic door. Yep, yeah, I guess if I'll... If it is indeed a door... I will, uh, let him go. Huh. Well, I'm not sure what to do with Selkie. I don't have any open quest lines. Um. What, do you think this is some, like, RPG? We've got a quest log? Yeah, yeah, where's the little yellow exclamation point? over a, a monk's head mm -hmm. telling me he needs something done. Um, <laughs> I mean, you've got like the like clear the hobgoblin caverns and like investigate the city watch conspiracy, but all of them are like flagged as red as like too high of a level for you. Uh huh. I need to find something that's I need to go into the sewer and kill some rats, don't I? <laughs> And there's a big boss rat at the bottom of the sewers, so that might be my my type of work here. Um, maybe I can find someone who needs. Uh, oh God, I don't even. This character is like built for cool exploration, but not built for like being or or generating quest leads. You know, you could um, try to cast in the Hall's Reckless Dreamer at the door and see if it, see if you get lucky on the on the roll. Oh, do we want to do your your one shot idea? Because <laughs> that's that's what's gonna happen. We'll we'll cast in the Hall's Reckless Dreamer. I'll accidentally fireball the door. I'll get killed open. in the process. It might open, but I'll die in the process. I'm joking. <clears throat> yeah. Um, hmm. I guess I will hang about near the door, and as I see people come to and fro through it, I'll pipe up, Do you need an apprentice? No one uh, comes in or out of the door. What? In the time that you're, how long you wait? I probably should have asked how long you wait before saying that. But. Oh, I was going to wait until like lunch was over, so like an hour or so, hour and change. Yeah. No. Um, some uh, library patrons sort of walk in a nearby aisle and they look at you and turn their noses up in disdain and uh, walk away. Um, you wait about an hour or so uh, and no one approaches the door. What are you, uh, what are you doing in this time? Are you like sitting on the ground in front of the door or uh, continuing to there... investigate it? Hopefully there's a table nearby, and I'll sit at the table. Um, um, the library, right? There might be books. Yeah, there's. I don't think there's... Maybe there's one, like, in the back. There's not one... I mean, you've got, like, a view over your shoulder, or you can, like, turn the chair around and mm -hmm. look at it. You're maybe 20 feet away from the door, but... Yeah. Okay. I'm watching it. Okay. Did you do any studying? Any reading? Uh, yeah, I'll pull out my book and make notes and use the library as a proper place to study. Okay. Um, 
You don't have any spells in your book that you haven't learned, right? Oh, I do. Yeah. I have... I have failed detect magic and read magic, as usual. <laughs> I forgot about that. But I have uh, comprehend language, expedious retreat, jump mount, and tensor's floating disc are the spells that I wanted to learn. Um, but I don't think I... So, yeah, I don't think I have any spells in my spell book because I sort of learned them haphazardly. Yeah. We never really discovered a mechanic for me to learn new spells other than other people's books. But those uh, are the spells that I've been... You don't have read magic, so you can't So what am I going to do, right? Yeah, so those are the things that I am working on that I would like to do. Um, um, specifically, Tensor's Floating Disc is the one I am most keen upon. Okay, so you don't have... To find spell research stuff. I mean, you. I, so I think your option is your options here are spell research. Hmm. Um. I'm trying to look up like time scales of that, but I think it's like days. So if you want to devote days of study, you can attempt to learn spells. Um, well, otherwise, I have you can read random books. Problem of having no food on me. Um, so I don't really have mm. days to devote to processes. I have more. Oh, and I think while you're hungry, you probably can't really do. Yeah. I do have. Ooh, I have 16 gold and 34 silver, so I suppose I oh, could. I, I thought you had no money. I thought I had no money too, but now I'm looking at my sheet. Didn't you get. Did you lose it? I lost some money. I used to have a lot more money. And okay. I burned through a large amount of it. Okay. So I don't know if. Uh, I don't know if the hobgoblins took your money, or maybe they didn't bother to take your stuff. I can't remember. Maybe mm -hmm. uh, Kleptomaniac Selki filched it off of some, uh, some merchant on the way in. Maybe that uh, cobbler who's selling shoes. Huh? Well, I will get something to do. Maybe I will just wander to the streets saying wizard for hire, rogue for hire. No, not rogue for hire. Um, spy for hire. Oh God, how do you advertise your services as a spy? That's a very difficult thing to do. It's not a very good spy that lets it uh, lets it slip that they're a spy. Exactly. So maybe what I have to do is go find some some sketchy underground bar and look for work there. Maybe I can get involved in some underworld dealings if the the above world doesn't want to deal with me. So I'm gonna leave the library and set out looking for for trouble um i do believe we said that there was like a tavern right over here that looked like the tavern that the guards were coming from and staying yes. at the city watch is this tavern here right across yeah. from the uh, garrison so maybe not that tavern um maybe something yeah. closer I know your memory is not very good but docks. i think you got kicked out of that tavern and was sternly told by some of the some of the guards to uh, never one. never come back. Yeah. So from my mind, it's either going to be something like over here down by the dock district or something over in this region or you know, way down here. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think closer to the waterfront is probably a better place to look for criminal doings, and I'm going to start with the actual docks themselves. Okay. Yeah. You head uh, down to the docks, uh, down this marble street to the marble steps, and uh, the large archway. As you walk down the steps, you get a view out to the ocean over the rooftops of the dock district. Mm -hmm. You can see the masts of some of the ships poking overhead. Maybe we can switch the uh, soundtrack to uh, 
to yes. a water uh, it is water song. Queued up it, and just waiting for this track to end. But... Dark district. That's fine. We can smooth transition. And uh, yeah, you make your way to the end of the marble and step into muddy dirt. At least you hope it's dirt. Mm. Uh, the uh, docks district. I am used to walking through filth, so I will make my way down. It's good thing you didn't. Buildings. Good thing you didn't buy those new boots. Yeah, right. They'd be ruined by now. Ruined, yeah. I tell you. Fishmongers try to sell you oysters, mm -hmm. meat pies, that sort of thing. Yep. Uh, now, this is um, the area where I did sort of make some enemies and maybe some friends by all that hubbub down here at this uh, place. You know, there were some yeah. people that died and, and whatnot. So I'm going to try and avoid this section of the docks down here, okay. if at all possible. I think I've got some enemies there, so I will instead go you know, checking out the stuff on this side yeah those See uh if I can find a, a cool alien or predator statue to buy you know. did you manage to get that back i sound? did yeah they cool. had took it out of my backpack when i went through tsa and uh -huh. they definitely pulled it aside and then called the other tsa agents over to point and gawk and then <laughs> just like moved it on so it was fine mm -hmm. but Lauren loved them. We can talk about that another time. Yeah. Um, so these piers on the north side of the dock are made of stone, mm -hmm. and they extend straight down into the uh, into the ocean. Like the it's a solid block of stone, or it has like pylons that holds it up. Um, you can investigate, but it, for all intents and purposes, it looks like a solid stone pier fascinating yeah. well i will walk along the water's edge looking for a tavern hmm. there are most assuredly several taverns on the uh on the docks um i don't know if i have any names we might need to make up a new one Mm. But uh, you can find uh, find a dockside tavern. Excellent. I will find said tavern and slip on in, try and get a feel for the place. Let's see what we got. Um, how do I? We have a solstice page on the wiki. Let's see if, uh, um, there's, oh, we got a few. Madame Luxem's is apparently a uh, dockside inn slash brothel. Uh, the screeching sure siren is, no, Luxem. Okay. Unless I said Buxom and Miss McTacky misheard me. Um, there's the Screeching Siren, which is another dockside tavern slash brothel. And a, uh, there's the unmarked Thieves Guild Tavern. Oh, that's the one that I, I want to go was, to. I think that was on the south. I think that's where you're avoiding. I think that ah. was, I think that was down towards the south side of the docks and uh, well, you were avoiding that one. The screeching siren sounds like it's going to be filled with uh, screeching noises and annoying stuff. Madame Luxem's sounds a little bit more up my alley, a little bit more um, friendly. So I will go to Madame Luxem's. Actually, let's, let me see. I think the th I, I don't I think the Thieves Guild Tavern is buried somewhere in here somewhere. So it isn't Ooh. on the south side that you're avoiding. Um, but it's also not, well, we can move things around. Uh, I mean, Actually, I, I did just walk through this area, right? To get yeah. out to the front. So yeah. if you I would have roll passed a charisma it, check. Oh. Button. There's my charisma button. Hey, not today. I mean, we can roll that one of two ways. If you'd like to find the, uh, 
you can find the uh, Thieves Guild Tavern. You see, you've got. Th do, do your thieves have thieves cant? Yes. Yeah, that yes. is a thing. Yes. Okay. Um, it is unmarked. What about it? What What do you think would give it away to to a uh, dashing young rogue like Self Selkie? That this is indeed a. Uh, I think it was one of these down here, actually. No, I don't it is. I've got these buildings on my, uh, my map, but I can't. It's the smell of roasted potatoes mm -hmm. and uh, whiskey that, like, mm. waft from... The roasted potatoes are coming out the chimney, and the, yeah. the whiskey is coming from maybe, like, a, a window that's open on a nice day. Um... Yeah, so I think it's this building here. It's like a, it's an unmarked tavern. Um, but you smell the whiskey and potatoes, and you're like, okay, that mm. that's clearly a tavern, but there's no like sign advertising patronage. And you don't but see, yeah. Exactly the sort of place I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a door? Uh, there's a door, yeah. It's then... unlocked. It's, uh, it's bordering on the section of town that you're avoiding. Um, and you walk on in. Right? I will slip on in, yep. Yeah. There's a uh, modestly sized common room. Uh, it's dimly lit, it's daytime, so there's no uh, candles or anything going right mm -hmm. yet. So it's just, it's it's an unlit tavern room with not a lot of windows. There's just like cracks of light. In fact, most of the light comes when you open the door. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and uh, you see at a table in like the far right corner, a group of dwarves that turn and glare at you as you walk in. And then you look to your left and there's another dwarf sitting at the bar who turns and glares at you as you walk in. And behind the bar, probably on a stool or something so that he can reach up and over it is a dwarf bartender who looks over and uh, stares at you. And there's, uh -oh. this, uh, there's this awkward moment we can uh, roll initiative if you'd like, or you can uh, you could probably get an action in if you're uh, if you're not too surprised. I think I just take a step back and stand in the doorway, like you know, don't quite shut the door behind me. Step back and look so, around. Uh, let's roll for initiative. Uh oh. Okay, one d ten plus three. My initiative right. would be to ready an action get, to you run. Get the, you get the jump. Roll a perception check. D. Ooh, here's just a perception roll. Twenty-one. Yes. Yeah. Um. They. You get the jump on them. You hear them uh, whispering to themselves. You catch. I guess you. They, do you speak dwarven? I do. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you hear uh, muttered in dwarven. That's the last that got Granite killed. Um, and they're sort of, they're taking their sweet dwarven time. They're slow to move, trying to sort out why you just walked into their bar. Um, but you turn tail and split. Uh, uh, and you can get out back to the docks before they have a chance to react. Oh, okay, cool. So they're not chasing me? I don't know. Where do you run to? I will bolt out the door take a right to go away from the dwarven area um, and then whirl around to see if they're following me. Um, you do. Uh, about a minute, less than a minute later, you see uh, a handful of dwarves emerge from the uh, from the bar. Uh, they look, they point in your direction. You forgot to hide uh, and they've spotted you. Uh-oh. Well, I gotta keep uh, one jump ahead of the breadline now, and I will turn and run. So we're gonna roll initiative for the next round. I'm gonna look, look up some dwarves, and we will. Uh... Um. Let me see how many uh, how many dwarves we got. Ooh, 
dwarves, dwarves, dwarves. Okay, there are not 40 to 400 dwarves, there's just a handful. Um, four dwarves came come out of the bar. Um, they point in your direction, spotting you, but they're slow. They got short, stubby legs, and you're, you're a quick little elf, uh, so you can turn tail and run. I shall. I will where do, scurry. Where do you run? How do you lose them? I will scurry along the dock's edge until I get to about that spot. But I think I didn't actually count the distance I was running. I think that, that was, was like six hundred feet. So you can go maybe half that this first round. Yeah, I'll end up there. Then. Past this blowing smoke. I think this must be uh, Madame Luxum's, or is that the screeching siren? Not sure. One of the brothels. Uh, I'm going to keep on running until I'm going to run to the other brothel then and duck in. Okay. Um, all right. Um, you're fast, um, but you didn't really make any effort to hide yourself. Um, so you make it to the north side of the docks ahead of the dwarves. Mm hmm. then I will immediately throw myself into the brothel. Uh, uh, you enter the uh, the common room. Mm -hmm. This must be Madame Luxem's. I think the screeching siren's gotta be the one in the center, right? I don't sure, know. yeah. That's and, fine by uh, me. All right, because these, the, these are the nice stone docks. This is where the classy bar would be. I don't know, can't decide. And uh, you enter this tavern, common room. Mm -hmm. um, busty barmaids are serving food and drink. And All there's right. There's a staircase that would go upstairs. Um, you walk in dirty and panting and get a uh, disdainful look from a, a barmaid nearby who's got a tray of drinks. She looks at you and uh, you look like riffraff, and she immediately assumes that you're not going to be uh, a paying new customer. New girl, where do I go? I say quickly. Where, where do I go? Her, I'm a new girl. Her face turns uh, turns even even sour, and uh, she, in the back, she says. And I will uh, uh, dart for the back. Yeah. She nods like down a hallway. Um, she sounds like as you're going down the hallway around the back, but uh, you're you're making your way to the back of the tavern if you'd, uh, yeah. if you'd like. I will try and find some door or shutters or preferably like a curtain that I mm -hmm. could duck behind and then like peer out at the front door and watch it. Um, give me a check to discreetly hide without garnering attention. Okay, hey, my hide check is 10, but there are important modifiers for cover if you'd like to look them up. 19, I'll need at least a plus two. Um, you feel pretty well concealed. I think you go back past the bar, down a hallway a little ways, and there's like a barrel sitting queued up in the hallway mm -hmm. that you crouch behind and peer up and look. Um, and sit there for like a minute or so. And then that uh, barmaid who you talked to on the way in, uh, she finishes with her tray and then she looks right at you, right at your barrel and walks on over. And says, what the, what the hell are you doing? Who are you? I didn't think, we're not getting a new girl today. <laughs> Sorry, there was some People with short tempers following me. I had to make sure that I got a clean getaway. Sorry for the disturbance. Well, Madame Luxem is the uh, cleanest establishment in town. I look down at my blood-soaked clothes. But uh, Not too clean, I hope. You got any uh, other work that needs doing around here? Anyone not paying their bills that needs to be <clears throat> roll etched? a charisma check. Twenty-three. Yeah. Takes enough pity on you. I don't think you look threatening enough for her to be concerned. 
Well, she like looks over her shoulder back at the at the door. Dwarves have not burst in yet. <laughs> um hmm. And you don't have any indication of having money. Would she be inclined uh, I make no to ask? Indication. Yeah. She might be inclined to tell you that a, a paying customer could uh, be hidden. But looking at your uh, ratty self, she says, Well, you don't look like much. Um, she reaches a hand out. Do you let her touch you? Yeah. Yeah, she like touches your uh, pointy ear. I no. kind of brush hair over it to avoid to no. hide it. We clean you up. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not interested in that kind of work. What, you want to uh, peel potatoes? I'm sure you have customers who have debts that don't pay them, or uh, perhaps someone who is trying to shut you You're down gonna... that you need a little bit more information about. You're going to break like some this... kneecaps? Didn't you just say you were running from some unsavory folk? It's about the fights you pick, not the fights you don't pick. And I think it's about this time that uh, four, uh, two dwarves walk into the uh, walk into the tavern. So you're will... still behind. You're still behind the barrel having this conversation, and you see past her. The door open, and you don't see anything. And you like pop up, and you see that they were too short for you to notice. And I will, I'll just drop down behind the barrel, and say, "Oh, they're here." Um, she, those the guys I can do my job first job pro bono you just you know let me hide here for a minute uh, all right you scallions what are you what are you doing remember after last time I told you you weren't weren't and she goes to like shoe off the two dwarves if you would like to, uh, yeah I will opportunity to get away or no I'm gonna wait them. behind the barrel um, and just wait for the sound of dwarves to leave or mm -hmm. for the woman to come back. Yeah. Um, there's a minute or so of conversation, but the uh, barmaid shoes off the dwarves. Okay. And then she gets preoccupied with uh, some patrons, mm. bringing another round of, uh, of lunch over. Yeah. Well, I will. And uh, if there's nothing you do, like a few minutes later, she'll come back and find me, find you behind the barrel. Yep, I will just wait for a few <clears throat> minutes. You're still here. Figured you to split. How about that job? Come on, we can we can find you some work in the kitchens. I don't want kitchen work. I I have skills, useful skills. Let me talk to Madame Luxem. Beggars can't be choosers, kid. Come on. I can do way better than peeled potatoes. <clears throat> um, I think she reaches to grab you by like the scruff of your shirt and uh, drag you to the kitchens. I will follow. Okay. Uh, all right. Actually, I think she grabs you by the ear and sort of twists it. And ow, 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 and tugs you to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, Howard. We got a we got a debtor that needs to work some uh, work some time off. Uh, I turn to this woman and ask for her name. Uh, right. The name's Misty, and. Uh, Misty and Howard, huh? Yeah. And she points to Howard, and, and you can call him boss. And she uh, shoves you in and shuts the kitchen door behind her. She leaves. And I think we're at about time. Uh, it's about time for a break. Right. Unless you want to throw me any curveballs before we... Uh, I'm not going to cast in Hall's Reckless Dweamer in the middle of the tavern <laughs> right now, so no curveballs. <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll take a break and come back on the other side with a little bit more Dicing with Death. See you guys soon. Waiting for the words, Ryan.
the words. Bye bye. Is that the word?